You know, the human brain has 70,000 thoughts per day. You know, I think we all have the power to regulate our emotions. And I think a lot of us who are living in this like negative emotion are really living in the past. They did a collab with someone. I mean, we could go get one. Do you want to go get one? Durian? Yeah. Alright. It actually hurts. Durian? It's like part of the seed, but this is that yellow part right there. That's what you eat. So you literally scoop it in. Yeah, usually you can like take the whole thing out. Do you usually stuff. season it with stuff or is it No, straight? it's just straight. Straight. Let's we'll see his reaction. Wait, wait. We're smelling it. It smells good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's pleasant. That's a good start. It's pleasant. <laughs> it's very pleasant. Eating durian for the first time. Shout out to my Vietnamese people in the building. Hey. No. I gotta, yeah, no, I gotta see your expression. Oh, yeah, that's the meat. That's a good one on the bottom. Oh, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bunch of different tastes. Like, it's a whole bunch of... From ear to ear, are all your effects. And just... Or, or your quantize there. Got it. What's up, dude? Oh, oh yeah, microphone. You got know, some heads, headphones, so how you doing? Thanks for each sound too. Like yep. kicks there and there. Well, that, but I think I'm gonna try it. We'll try to do it. Good. Do you do YouTube videos or anything? No, no. Um, I need to. Yeah. I'm crazy. I don't even know what this is more for like photos. But yeah, photo. I'm sure they do like green screen type um, tomorrow. Cause you're in the podcast. Yeah. So this is I booked. This is the studio that I booked. Oh, this is for tomorrow. Yeah, okay. but they have a crazy A room in here. Okay. So we're gonna have that tomorrow. Oh, okay. 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 No problem. But just so you know. Atlanta. Hello. Yes, sir. Clap it up. Come on. I'm Ill Mind, if you guys don't know by now. I'm not Jeff Staple or Manny Pacquiao or uh, <laughs> who's the other guy? Chad Hugo from the Neptunes. I'm assuming most of you guys have watched my YouTube videos and seen my content of me just like talking shit and being stupid. See my podcast. Raise your hand if you listen to my podcast. If you don't, that's totally fine. Cool. Fuck you guys. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you guys. A really cool podcast that I put out every Friday, which is kind of similar to this. And so, you know, a lot of the YouTube content and the, the podcast is really based around, um, you know, my passion and what I like to talk about. And, and, and this event, this past the Ox event, after doing it for about a year and a half, I really learned that a big part of this type of experience is about community and about you guys being able to build and meet your peers. <laughs> Let's go back around over here. Nothing with it. It's just it grows that way. It grows because you were active. Yes. I think that kind of goes back to what we were saying about like, you know, scale and like connecting with people, like really connecting with people. Because like to me, there's two ways to connect, right? You have connecting. I like calling it, I guess, like connect horizontally and collect, collect or connect vertically. Looking to connect horizontally, that means I'm trying to scale wide. That means I'm trying to connect with a million people, right? You know, one example of that is uh, Lil Nas X, Old Town Road. He's scaling horizontally, meaning he has a hit record that 
millions of people have heard it's charting number one he's new so that has something to do with it but people don't know really anything about him so we're not really like connecting with him as a person we're connecting with the song so that's like horizontal sort of like scale when you scale deep you're connecting deeply with the uh, with the fan base and deeply with like the people that support you and like one example of that would be like a J. Cole Where J. Cole has like deep connection, but has also has scale as well for all of us like you especially like the, as artists all of us in here I think a, a good focus is to focus on connecting with people vertically and really just getting deep into their emotions and 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 figuring out a way to connect deeply with our fans just a matter of time but i think it would be interesting if you were to like collaborate more with like some of these guys here and like the, the whole atlanta sound like there's no reason why you shouldn't be rubbing shoulders with like you know like eight of views from 808 mafia and like danny wolf and all these guys that are out here in atlanta like moving around like being from New York, you could bring that New York like flavor to it, you know, so. Wow. Like I said, Vinny has like a lot of experience with like publishing and stuff. I, I know you, um, you, do you have some insight in terms of like, getting into the music licensing, like placing beats on TV and film and, and all that, or? Um, yeah, I mean, besides uh, what you were saying, because there's the licensing agents, there's tons of them, tons and tons and tons of them. A lot of these guys, it's especially if you, you know, if you're in the hip hop, R&B, pop space, I mean, really they're not getting, they're not getting a lot of music that they want. Like, they're, um, they're getting tracks from people, but they're they're super hard to clear in hip hop. So it's like the bane of their existence. So they're always looking for hip hop stuff. Like also, just um, if you all sign up with a publishing company, they typically have a sync team as well that's pushing pushing your music. Yeah, like Cobalt. Cobalt has like a great. So I'm signed to Cobalt and M I'm signed to Cobalt and Empire, which uh, thanks to this guy. Um, and by the way, I'm going to put him on the spot again. He also represents uh, Mike Will and uh, who else? <laughs> uh, Mike Will, uh, Ray Schremer, um, a bunch of Atlanta producers, ATL Jacob, Cassius J, um, Fuse from 808 Mafia. The publishing companies are also, a lot of them, especially Cobalt, I know, have like, like departments that specialize in licensing music out. And they're like super, they're always sending out opportunities like, hey, we need a beat. 100 BPM that feels like XYZ and like you can make some money that way. So that was like a beat battle beat. That yeah. felt like. So what are you doing on social media? Are you are you posting every day or? I'm posting every day. I'm a traumatic experience. Mm, right. Stuff that happened in the past. You know what? You know what's so interesting about that? So I, I've been really, man, I've been really like super inspired and fascinated by this guy named Joe Dispenza. And so back in 1986, he was like riding a bike and he got sideswiped and uh, he fell off the bike and he shattered six vertebrae on his spine. And uh, he, he suffered what's called like a, a vertebrae like uh, compression. So like they compressed together, shattered a bunch of floating debris in his uh, spine, really bad. Went to the doctor, the doctor was like, uh, you're never gonna walk ever again, but the only way to really try to save you is to remove the rest of your um, bone that supports your spine and install metal rods in your back to help support you. So then back then he was like, fuck, <laughs> I don't want to do that. I want to try alternative medicine. He thought to himself, he's like, if my body is able to cure like if I get a cut on my arm and after a while the body no, like heals, right? So if my body can heal a cut, I'm wondering if my body can really heal this fucked up uh, spine thing that I have. He went into this like really deep like uh, process of like meditation, intense meditation, believing, like really, really believing in his mind that his spine could heal and that his body can heal and it was a combination of like 
30 minutes a day of like meditation and being mindful and being um, imagining himself walking again and stuff like that after 12 weeks he literally started walking when he started walking again and he fully reco recovered by the way he made a promise to himself he said if i recover fully from this i'm going to dedicate the rest of my life to researching the the scientific connections between the mind and the body and how the mind can heal the body anyway long story short i want to connect that because there's this theory and it really literally changed my life um, there's this idea that, you know, every action that we take, you know, whether we post an Instagram account or talk to a, a, a friend, drive a car and like say, fuck you for someone cutting us off. Like those are decisions that we make in the real world that are based on emotion. So emotions influence our decision making and our decision making influences our physical world. And so if our emotions are negative, and we, we have real negative emotions. You know, the human brain has 70,000 thoughts per day. You know, I think we all have the power to regulate our emotions. And I think a lot of us who are living in this like negative emotion are really living in the past. But I, I really bring up the, the whole story because like once you start to really realize that all of us are in fight or flight mode. It's, you know, it's like why we survived. It's like everything is just so high pressure and, and like the body doesn't know the difference between that actually happening or if you're thinking of it happening. The body is the, the second brain, by the way. So we have this brain and the body. And so if you're traumatizing yourself with these thoughts, your body is being traumatized too and it doesn't know the difference between if it's really happening in the physical world or if it's happening in your mind. And so we're all just like destroying ourselves thinking in the past. And so, you know, that's the whole fight or flight thing where if I'm under stress, you know, fight or flight, there's a tiger chasing me. I'm about to get eaten or, oh my God, uh, I hope I don't like fail this test. Just something to think about. Yeah, but um, man, on your way, a lot of the stuff we talked about, I think applies to what you're doing. So clap it up for my man right here. Yeah. Shout out to you. You got it. Shotgun pose? Man, you guys are super fucking inspiring. I put up, man. Top it up for yourself. Let's all keep in touch. Definitely um, email me stuff you're working on.